In Minnesota horticulture, exotics is a bad thing, but in a backyard in Northfield, we've found exotics to be a very good thing. We're here with Glenn Schweitzer of Schweitzer's Nursery and Landscaping, who has created an incredible Balinese garden that has several rooms to it, several spaces. Glenn, tell us about how you created these spaces. I would love to give you a little tour of the mm. Balinese-inspired garden. It starts out with an arts and crafts style house. So the front, you don't really know what's behind the first gate. But the first room that you enter into is what we call the outdoor kitchen. Our, the kitchen's back there. Then you enter into <laughs> the outdoor dining room. And the dining room's defined by a contemporary pergola, uh, U-shape, that plays off uh, a little bit of the roof line. But a lot of times, pergolas, people think of them as for shade, just for blocking right. shade. But mm -hmm. I use them a lot more for spatial organization. So with a 25-foot pitch up on the roof, nice and high, you kind of lose human scale because the space is pretty tight. We're only 12 feet wide, and bringing in this overhead uh, pergola at 8 feet gives a really nice feel to the room. All right, well, let's take a look at some of the transitions from space to space. As we move from the dining room into what we call the living room, there's a great transition right in the paving down here where we move from a basket weave, which is really kind of arts and crafts style, into a running bond uh, that's pretty prevalent in Balinese garden. We also move in from some light and dark, so we move into one of my favorite trees, which is uh, the ironwood. So this is a great native tree to Minnesota, and just great big leaves, slow growing, so it's perfect for this north side. And then we start looking at some of the other materials and we take that little step up and that's just really neat because that helps define that we've moved into another little space. But this guy is really fun here. We've taken the pitch of the roof on the, the addition to the arts and craft and we've connected the line right into this angle so it helps kind of give this feeling of enclosure but yet we're still out and we're able to drape some really great fabrics on it. This is a, a saffron color fabric and then it leads us right to the screen porch, which is a, another classic play on the Balinese garden. So having the outdoor pavilion, of course we are in Minnesota, we've got mosquitoes, that happens. So having a screen porch, but the bamboo furniture and the Balinese lamps really give it a great look. All right, Glenn, we've made it to the hinge. You want to tell us? <laughs> That's here. We have two access points. So we have the side yard and the backyard, uh -huh. and both of them uh, come right down in on the water feature. And the long uh, rectangle uh, reflecting pool, but otherwise mm -hmm. kind of the inspiration was the Balinese plunge pool that leads up to these two uh, waterfalls, uh, which use a lot of different stones. So the eclectic side of stone, the blue stone, the, the St. Cloud granite, the Acrogatique, and all kinds of things in here. So there's so many different little layers of oh, meaning, yeah. and that's one of the important things about bringing in a professional landscape designer to do your project. So right. it just doesn't happen. There's a lot of thought that goes into them. Well, and speaking of professional, uh, this is an MNLA award-winning garden that Glenn created, mm -hmm. and it was featured in the Wall Street Journal as well as Minnesota Spaces. Glenn, thank you so much for taking us on a tour of this lovely garden. Yes, my pleasure to take you to Bali for the afternoon. <laughs> thank you.